Hi guys, DW Berman here with another video, uh, graphics related this week. I'm in After Effects. Okay, here I have the shape layer, and say I want to move this star around over time in, in kind of a random pattern. Uh, there's an easy way to do that. There are there's several ways to do this. You could kind of trace a path and record that. Uh, there's the Wiggler, which is a it was added a long time ago to the After Effects. There's a little panel here. And the way the wiggler works is you create two keyframes on the channel you're going to wiggle, in this case, position, and select two keyframes. And we'll set the fre frequency, we'll leave the frequency to 5, and set the magnitude to 35 so we can really see it happen. Frequency is how quickly it moves, or how many keyframes are set per second, I guess. And the magnitude is how much it moves. So in the, I clicked apply, and now we have a whole bunch of keyframes in here. And we can watch our star fly around. Yeah, this is cool. It works. Uh, it's kind of clunky in that it leaves a lot of keyframes in your timeline, which you might not want. Kind of, kind of clutters things up a bit. The other way is to use the wiggle expression and expressions are kind of scary, um, especially if you're not familiar with them. And even if you are a little familiar with them, it becomes uh, intimidating rather quickly when you see some more complicated ones. But in this video here that I did, driving animation with audio and After Effects, um, this covers the basic syntax of expressions. And it, it breaks it down a little bit. So I'm not going to go and cover that again. You can click here and watch this video or I'll put the link in the description as well. So to get to the expression editor you have to alt click or if you're on the um, Mac option click on the little stopwatch and now we have an expression window and the wiggle expression is one of the simplest ones you just type wiggle and then open parentheses 5 comma 35. Close expression and a semicolon to just kind of close the argument. The 5 is the same as the frequency over here, and the 35 is the same as the magnitude. So the first number, number is the frequency, and the second number is the magnitude. And now when I hit play, if I can find my play button, there we go. And look, there it goes and it's moving all on its own, which is pretty cool. If I want to speed it up, I can change the first number. Hit enter on the numeric keypad if you have one. And you can see it's moving a lot faster. So that's great, but what if you want to change this over time? What if you want to control that? Well, this is what I'm going to show you next. Now, uh, a lot of tutorials have showed you how to use the wiggle. This one will show you how to control it with another object. So, let me go to the layer and new, and I'm going to make a new null object, and this is going to be the wiggle control. I suppose I could have just done what I'm going to do on the shape layer itself. But if you come over here to the effects and presets and type in slider and hit enter, you'll see this slider control um, preset under the expression controls category. I'm going to drag that over there. I'm going to drag two over there since I have two numbers here. So let's uh, rename the first slider to be slider frequency. And the second one will be and I'm hitting enter, clicking on the, the item and hitting enter in order to be able to rename it. It's one of After Effects' conventions, so you hit enter to rename something. And the second one will be slider mag. Okay, so now I'm just going to highlight this number 10, hit delete. Uh, you probably don't have to hit delete. And this little swirly thing down here is the pick whip. And I'm just going to drag that up here and select, yeah, just highlight the slider and hit there just let go of the mouse and there we go now we have this gobbledygook in here it says this comp layer wiggle control effect slider freak slider and that's the value so I'm gonna do the same thing with the last number I'm just gonna highlight it go to the pick whip 
and drop it onto the slider mag. And now when I hit play, nothing will happen because it's the magnitude is zero and the uh, speed is zero. So let's raise this up to say 35 and let's change our slider to five so we get back to our initial settings. And there it's moving around and dancing just like it used to. So if we want to speed it up, we can increase the slider value on the slider frequency. And now we see it's moving faster. We can, of course, change the magnitude. So it's moving around more. Now, now that it is detached from this other thing, though, we can actually animate these values, which is pretty cool. So we can start at 0 on both of these. I probably don't want to go to 0 on both of these. I'll start with 5 on the frequency. And let's see, I'll hit the U key to see all the keyframes. And let's increase the magnitude slowly over time. And then decrease it. And when you're dragging these numbers here, if you hold down Control, you can uh, move in a smaller amount. So you can move one tenth of a number at a time instead of a whole number at a, t at a time. And if you hold down Shift, you'll move ten. You'll move by tens. Instead of one whole number, you move by 10 to 14 to 20, 30, yeah, 34, 44, 64. My mouse, I guess, is pretty sensitive, so it's almost moving by 20s. But let's see. Let's see what this does. So hit play, and nothing's happening for the first bit. Uh, let me move these keyframes over so we have something happening earlier. So there we go, it starts to shake, and the shake slowly becomes bigger and bigger. Let me slide these back so we're not waiting so long to see the effects. And well, there you have it. You can control the amount of wiggle using these sliders, and uh, that way you can animate the amount of wiggle so you can have things jolt all of a sudden, or you can, uh, yeah, just have a l another easier way to get at to control them rather than having to go to the expression itself and type in numbers. So thanks for watching. I hope this was interesting and useful for you in your After Effects work. Um, expressions are very powerful, and it's very uh, good thing to learn how to do, and there are plenty of websites online uh, that show you how to use expressions. Uh, there's a AE Toots Plus, and then there's a aeexpressions.blogspot.com, and there are plenty of others. And even in the help menu itself, there is a uh, a lot you can get to from the expression or to learn how to use the expressions. So, yep, check expressions out. They'll really help you out in your After Effects work. So. I'm babbling again, so I'm going to stop. So subscribe to this channel. Uh, let me know if you want more After Effects videos. And uh, thanks for watching.